the People Pet Connection. What can your body communicate to your pet? Visual communication through body language is one of the main ways that dogs and cats communicate. This means that they use their own bodies to communicate, including their facial expressions, the way they hold their tail, their body posture, and body positioning. All of these give other animals and humans information about the animal's state of mind. It is important to remember that animals use these same observation skills with their people. They watch your body language to get information about you. This information can affect how comfortable, anxious, or excited a dog or cat is when you are around them. Your pet will respond to you with their own body language. You should be able to learn more about your pet when you start watching closely. So let's get the conversation started. Learning to adjust your body language to communicate effectively with your pet is a little like learning the customs of another culture. It isn't always common sense to you, but little things could make a big difference to your pet. Here are some ways your body language communicates with your pet. 1. Eye contact. Did you know that direct eye contact with a dog or cat can make your pet uncomfortable? To put your pet at ease, look slightly to the side of them and relax your eyes with a smile. 2. Greeting your pet. When you greet your pet, position yourself so that you are not directly facing them. Then, reach under their chin or chest to scratch them. Some pets prefer if you crouch down closer to their level. Many pets don't like being patted on the head or being leaned over. This can be perceived as a threat from their perspective. 3. Hugging your pet. Did you know that most pets don't like to be hugged? From their perspective, hugging is a very threatening gesture. Give a scratch under the chin or on the chest instead. 4. Tone of voice. Use a quiet and slow tone of voice when you want to help calm your pet. A high-pitched, rapid voice is more appropriate during play. Avoid speaking in a deep, stern voice or scolding your dog or cat. A stern voice can be frightening and doesn't help your pet understand what you want them to do instead. More likely, it may just make him afraid of you. 5. Petting. Stroke in slow, massage-like manner. Some dogs like to be petted with slow circular motions around the neck and shoulders. Other dogs like being petted with long, slow strokes from head to tail. Cats tend to like being scratched and rubbed around the head and cheeks. Slow motions tend to be more calming than rapid petting or up and down patting motions. In general, if you move more slowly, your pet will also move more slowly and calmly. If you move quickly, so will they. 6. Your clothing. Remember that your clothing counts as part of your body and can also affect your interactions with your pets. If you are wearing a long scarf, it might distract or scare your pet when you bend over to pet him. If you are wearing sunglasses, that will affect your pet's ability to see and get information from your eyes. Ultimately, all dogs and cats are different and have a different relationship with their people. What one pet finds comfortable, another might not. It is your job to start watching your pet's body language and monitoring your own. You might find that a small change in how you interact can go a long way in building a trusting relationship and a fear-free, happy home. Learn more about what your pet is communicating to you by watching the Fear-Free Happy Homes Dog and Cat Body Language videos.